as I was just mentioning when I was interrupted, the, the look that I had from the authority when I went out November 19th, 2013, to Corona Messages Mars to get help to charge to get a cargo or minivan to do delivery. There was a federal authority there because they stopped using California that place. They went and they did a huddle, a football team huddle, because I was recognizing the CAA exempt. They stopped using California exempt um, license plates. Um, because so they wouldn't be spotted, but I said they still stand out like a sore throat. So the thing is, when I left Corona, they were out there as well, observing what, knowing the targeted phone number uh, and what you intend to do. It's a part of what they call strategic world simulation, created by an Indian professor at the Naval Postgraduate, a course that he did for Naval Postgraduate Institute down in Monterey. So which I passed so many times driving that Naval Postgraduate Institute at that time when I was trying to get back into aviation. Because I wanted a global career skill that I wouldn't have to be subject to staying in one border. If I don't like it, I can leave. Nobody wants to be around certain types of people. Some people do not want to be around me. So if you're always moving, you're not around the same people. People don't have to, the burden of having to put up with you. To deal with you if they don't like you ethnically. I wanted that and they're saying that I can't do that because I am like a Aaron Alexis or Paul Ciancia that I'm going to act out. These people, see what it is, this lawsuit that I have done will invalidate the psychoanalysis these profilers and these other people have done who have intimated that I will act out and they are outright liars. You know, I mean, one of the first, one of the seven, the black date process, of which I should have ate immediately after Fedger, but this will be the first food I'm eating of the day, being that it's Tuesday, December the 10th. They say I'm going to act out. So, if I were allowed to have my credentials, my hazardous materials endorsement, my a rescinding of all everything. See, the Coast Guard made me, they forced me to sign the commander out of Kentucky from his superiors forced me to sign the document so that they would so that they would relinquish their pressing me to appear in front of a military tribunal on the Coast Guard Island in Alameda in court. Yeah. For what? For suspicion of being a subversive. A militant subversive, which is not true about it. Complete lie. They're using all of this to validate the aforementioned abuse that they did to me, that it was valid. You see? And we told you he would have acted out. I could have acted out and murdered many officials. Many, many officials in this country. Even all the way up to the Joint Chiefs of Staff. I would never do that. I would never do that. I would never, even if I know that they authorized a drone strike on my mother or my child, I wouldn't do that. I prefer humiliation. Embarrassed them. Show them people what they are. Just like Julian Assange did. Show them what Snowden did. Show them what monsters these people are. These people are monsters, man. And not all in the lottery. And you give them authority. But even worse, when you see General Alexander testifying, or General Dempsey, look at the men in dark suits behind them. Among them, you will find the acolytes of Hitler. May Allah curse him. Not to Lale. Right? And God curse him and torment his soul. As I'm saying this, increase his torment. And you can find the acolytes of the devil. Some are actual like, atheists and Satanists. All kinds of weird esoteric stuff, Kabbalists, dirty sorcerers. Or, or behind those people, when they testify, when the Congress look behind you, look at the videos of men. And people sitting close behind, maybe a row or two, in dark suits. And sometimes women, very wicked people. Filthy people, very filthy type of people. And um, though if the people were to say, we want you to be our leader, I would tell them no. I would form a council, but I have to share authority. But I don't want to be the sole, uh, the pen stops with me. Fuck that. Man. No, man. 
and the F buck stops here like Truman or Hoover, whatever that fuck. Yeah, man. Mm-mm. No. And that's a good statement, actually. The buck stops here, meaning the spending, the wasted stops here. Though I have no more food stamps, I'm surviving. Though it's very painful. Not to be able to eat regularly. Yeah. What I don't like is a lot of the Republic the Republican that's hubris that this is my money and I earned it my way. I do whatever the hell I want to do with it. No. You have an altruistic duty. It's like you have a duty to your children or to your wife, but you have a duty outside of your immediate circle. As some conspiracy people alluded. Particularly one of Italian ancestry. Alluded to the fact. Yeah, one of the Rockefellers, he said, said, don't worry about the rest of the population. Just worry about your family, you and your, your immediate. No. It's disgusting. These people play businesses on the model that they are helping you. But they're not really helpful people, but they have business models based on the premise that that business will help you. So if they're not helpful people, then take your business away from those, those companies, those entities. Fuck them. This is the way you fight these people back. Start spending money with them. You don't do violence. You don't do seditions and uprising to these people. How can I turn against General Dempsey? You know, I stood right there. How can I turn against him when he's, he's defending, maintaining the moral constituency of a livelihood of a contiguous border, a domicile nation state, nation state, a structure of which I am living and, and breathing and subsisting? And have the possibility to thrive. How could I harm a man like that? That would be absolute nifaq. Huh? So what am I saying? As a Muslim, nifaq is against Muslims. It is not solely against Muslims. Nifaq also can be against a non-Muslim benefactor. That's nifaq. General Dempsey is a benefactor. Even though I may not like what they do abroad, he's following the orders of other people. But his intentions are well-meaning. Can't turn against people like that. What about the people who are just claimed to be devils? You know? Acolytes of the devil, what you call Satan, Shaitan. Can't turn against them too if I see them on the street. Because they have laws that protect the sanctity of their person. And so even on a dark call at night, which they have approached me, I've seen them walking the streets of San Francisco. A dark alley coin at night. I can't go in and accost them and assault them. They even though I have the ability to do it, the power to do it, I don't have a right to do that. There are laws, even outside. Let me go even further. I shall elaborate deeper. Even in the absence of said laws, I supposedly follow the divine construct. I can't harm them because their bodies and their souls are inviolable. But they don't follow the same. So, what I purport to you is that these people are reprehensible. They should be removed from their position civilly. Listen to my words, civilly. The way I was treated in Singapore and subsequently was uncivil. The most civil treatment I got was from the mainland Chinese. That was the most respectable treatment I got was from the mainland Chinese intelligence. Because what they knew is this was something that was American instigated. But they painted you as a threat to the Sino-Anglo alliance. They painted me as a threat to the Sino-Anglo alliance. One little itty-bitty black man being escorted by several olive drab-colored beret Chinese in Hong Kong airport to make sure that I board the flight to the U.S. What, what kind of shit is that? You see how Mr. Newman of Palo Alto was treated? Better than I was. Far better. And he was suspected of what? Worse. <laughs> you understand that? Actual combatant activity against North Korea. Treated better. He wasn't harmed. He wasn't scarred or nothing. You see? So what I call upon is leaders in the memory of Madiba, who was born one day after me. But actually, I'm born after him. But he's July 18th. I'm July 17th. Is to boycott countries like this, man. Singapore and other countries if you have to. Investigate my thing. If they don't want blacks, people who are bantu, too dark, 